Now, Liberal National Party MP and former Speaker of the House, Andrew Wallace, joins me now. Andrew, look, we've been talking about the 860 temporary visas given to Palestinians and how quickly those temporary visas have been granted. But Labor Minister Ed Husick said today that those asking questions mustn't care about the Palestinians. What's your response to this? Well, it's a pretty bizarre response, Shari. And whilst I'm not suggesting, and I, I don't, I'm sure no one on my side of politics is suggesting that all Palestinians are bad people. I, I don't believe that for a second, but I had the opportunity to watch a 42 minute video last week with the Israeli ambassador of the slaughter of more than a hundred people on the 7th of October. And I think what struck me the most out of that absolutely horrific video was watching uh, people, the, the hostages that were taken back to Gaza and uh, seeing the sheer delight of civilians who were rejoicing in watching these hostages, these innocent civilians being beaten severely, some shot, some uh, maimed, um, and the, the the delight amongst the civilian population. Now, uh, we need to be very careful about whoever we let into this country, but wherever there is a, a such a hatred of one group, an important group, uh, such as the Jewish community in this country, I think we need to be very, very careful. Uh, we need to be uh, assured by this government that appropriate steps are being taken to, to do all the necessary background checks. Well, Andrew, often. sorry to interrupt you, but we're not getting those answers from Penny Wong or Albanese today. They're just repeating the same line that checks are being taken. ASIO Home Affairs didn't answer my questions properly today. So, you know, you're on the Intelligence Committee. Are you in a position to actually get some answers here about how these checks have been done, given it's a war zone, given Australia has no presence in Gaza right now? Well, I think you just have to look at how long it takes ordinarily to get a visa, uh, a protection visa. And, uh, you know, if these things are being done in hours or days, then I would have my grave reservations as to whether they're being done appropriately and whether all of the necessary checks and balances are actually being done. All right, look, just on another topic, uh, your committee wanted to ban the public display of the swastika and other, you know, Nazi salutes. The government, the Albanese government, has argued that they don't want the Nazi salute to be banned. Why is this? Well, Shari, the, the government uh, members on the committee mounted a spurious argument that really this was a matter that was best left for... Uh, the state and territory police, that there were some constitutional issues, both of which are, are, are just absolutely unjustifiable. There is no constitutional issue in relation to the banning of the Nazi salute, just as there is no constitutional issue in relation to the banning of the sale or display of Nazi memorabilia that, uh, you know, the Huckenkrotz or the, the double cigarette. If it's good enough for the government to agree, and the Prime Minister just said yesterday mm. that these symbols are, they are bad, they should be banned, um, I, for the life of me, I cannot understand why they are not going that one step further as recommended by the no, coalition. Absolutely. And banning the Nazi salute. Yeah, it makes no sense at all. Andrew Wallace, thank you so much for joining me and for your important work.